In this week's About Your Retirement, we've got Jim back in studio, of course, as yes. always. And our question for Jim. Jim, it seems there's still controversy about the COVID shots and people that refuse them. But what about the flu? We're still vulnerable to the flu, too. When does that season actually begin? And what should we be doing about the flu? Flu is a major concern for the older population as well. It is, and it is every year. And, you know, of course, obviously, COVID has overshadowed that a little bit. Our uh, viewer question today, she's very concerned about it yeah. uh, because she started hearing reports this past week that Oklahoma ranks really high in the U.S. with the number of flu cases yeah. now. So uh, the CDC claims that flu season, if you will, is from October and peaks through February. So mm -hmm. there's still at least three to four months of that out there. And so we want to... Uh, Take precautions for it. And we, w we have some important things. And people ask me, Ashley, they say, when you talk about this stuff, do you really do this too? Yes, I get yeah. a flu shot every year. I've got all three COVID shots. But uh, I know how important they are. And for people who are skeptical about COVID vaccinations, flu vaccinations, we've been doing those for years. Right. Research has followed them. We know they're effective and they're not dangerous. And so yeah. uh, let's talk about some important things that people can do to, uh, to help combat the flu. Obviously, the first thing is, is to get a flu shot. Yeah. And the reason the flu shot is so important is because it helps your body create antibodies mm -hmm. to combat the influenza virus. Right. And so that's very important for us to, uh, to do. The second thing is vitamin D. And guess what? It's one of the few vitamins that's free yeah. because it comes from the sun. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes people uh, don't recognize the fact that we live in Oklahoma. 80% of our days have effective sunlight that will help provide that vitamin D. And so we have great solar days here. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of it. And uh, But be sure if you need a supplement, you can't get outdoors, make sure, like I always recommend, talk to your physician mm -hmm. and be sure that it's not going to be something that counteracts an important medication you yeah. take for your heart or blood pressure or other things. The next thing, better sleep. Yes, everybody here sleepy right now. We were talking about that. Yep. <laughs> Scientists, researchers all recommend seven hours of sleep uh, every night to be good for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next thing is the use of a humidifier. And this is the one that I like because it gets kind of scientific. I really sound intelligent because <laughs> a, a humidifier is circulating tiny droplets of moisture in mm -hmm. the air. These droplets join with uh, the dry air mm -hmm. that has, that carries the virus, mm -hmm. any virus, and together the droplets weight it down, they fall to the ground, oh. and it prevents those airborne viruses getting into your uh, breathing and okay. all. Okay, well there you go, some good advice. Thanks so much, Jim. Very don't, cool. Yeah, don't forget you can get more retirement advice on Jim's other show, Watch Baby Boomers in Action, every weekend on News 9 and News 9 Plus. And for more information, visit news9.com slash retirement.